Good morning everybody. Welcome to Fruity Paradise Island with Denise Roy. Today is January 2nd and it is also day 99 of my raw vegan journey. Well, I started years and years ago, but since I started making videos and being better and better. Oh, how I wish though that I had been even better during these 99 days because the results would be more apparent than they are now. I've had too many cheat days and well i'm still pretty much at the same point um if you think of my weight but i have grown so much in my mind okay i have so many other physical benefits that i feel and also have learned to love myself so much more by proving to myself that i can do it even though it wasn't perfect so all it's telling me is that for the next year I do have to be more consistent and the results will come and I will be happier and happier. Okay, enough of that. In two and a half days I'm leaving for Florida for one and a half months with my two youngest daughters. So I'm leaving home, my husband and my three teenagers, well actually two teenagers and one young adult. And I cleaned out my fridges this morning to see what's going on. And luckily, because I have lots of food that they will not eat on their own if I'm not here to chop it up, or it's just fruits that they don't enjoy. So I have to eat it before I go. <laughs> I'll show you what there is. Well, this they'll eat. I just need to prepare it. It's a huge jar, 1.5 liters of sprouted beans okay there are lentils chickpeas so I'll make a stew with that it's gonna be very good over here I have some coleslaw type broccoli and I also have a leftover red cabbage so that shouldn't be a problem I'll make a salad with that sushi something delicious here are some poor veggies that were forgotten we have turnip a few dried up carrots and onion more lonely veggies okay lots of chopped up cauliflower and that i love i'm so happy it didn't go bad and some carrots and onions that look very pitiful but once they're peeled they'll be great here i have a butter nut no buttercup squash that started rotting the cat is there in the compost okay so i the rest is super good super fresh so I have to do something with that. Here are some cucumbers that were really in bad condition. I'll probably use them in a dressing to bulk it up. Some more onions. Here's a leftover pineapple that I defrosted yesterday for my fruit salad. There's a large quantity. I have to do something with that. A cantaloupe. Normally everybody loves cantaloupes, but these were not sweet at all. So I'll probably make a green smoothies with it. Mommy. Lemons and limes. The lemons still look very good, but the limes look pretty terrible. I'll peel them and see how they are on the inside and use them for dressings or water. I have two avocados that are really in good shape. And they kind of make me feel bad because I've been binging on avocados with nutritional yeast over steamed potatoes. I've been loving it, but eating way too much of it. Then I have this papaya that did not ripen very well. Okay, I'll cut it up and see how it is, but it doesn't seem soft or sweet. Then I have this huge box of grapefruit. Okay, my husband likes grapefruit, so I'll leave the best ones for him. And for the others, I think that I'll have a juice feast. Okay, that's what I'll be doing soon with my juicer. Then a couple apples that really need to go in smoothies. Here I have a beautiful platter of cactus pears, which I'm pretty much the only one that eats them, so I'll have to eat that soon. Then some kiwis that need to go soon. And I have lots of these garden carrots, okay? So, what do you think of all that? And I was supposed to go to the restaurant tonight with my husband for my salad bar because we got a gift certificate, but I'm not sure. I think that I'll just, like, we'll go do a, run a few errands and we might come back to eat. Like, use a gift certificate when I come back from Florida because this is, like, a lot of food that I do not want to waste. <laughs> 
Okay, so it's already 10 o'clock and the only thing I've had this morning was my lemon water. I guess it's just by being so excited. Maybe I'm a little full also. I went to bed later, but I did go to bed hungry. So that was excellent. I did not eat last night late. Okay, so I'm going to continue my day with some grapefruit juice. I cannot forget my six persimmons that I have left. Okay, they did not ripen perfectly. They're still pretty firm, but I slice them and enjoy them. They're very delicious. And I might as well show you the green salsa that I have. Okay, I have this container of sprouted clover. Then I have this baby spinach, a hot container, and I have some leftover mixed greens from last night. Then all kinds of tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, regular tomatoes, and kumato tomatoes, and some mushrooms. So the more I think of it, the more it's obvious that I'm having dinner here tonight, and it will be quite a feast. We have five peeled and chopped up grapefruit in here, and I have my Omega Juicer. I got this about four years ago when I was into wheatgrass juice, but now I don't use it that much anymore, and I'm more into smoothies than juice, but my mouth is watering just thinking of this. Let's start it. So here, yum yum. I passed the pulp a second time just to be sure that I didn't waste any juice, but there wasn't much. My juice is really good. So look at what we have. Mm. This whole big container full of delicious grapefruit juice. I can't wait to taste it. Oh my gosh, I don't need to say anything. I'll let you imagine how this tastes. Cheers. For lunch, I'm treating myself to another glass of juice made from five grapefruit and four sliced persimmons. With the sprouted beans, the carrots, the shredded broccoli, onions, and other veggies, I made this macaroni. I know it doesn't look that good, but it smells really, really good. I think it will be delicious. Then I cubed up the papaya just to make it more accessible to pick at. I cubed also turnips and the squash. Here I made a fruit salad with the cantaloupe, the, all the kiwis, and all the pineapple, so that will disappear very fast. Okay, I shredded the cabbage, and of course the grapefruits are going down slowly. So as a snack today, I was going to go for the papaya, but decided to opt for the vegetables. So in this huge, beautiful salad, I threw in all the leftover cauliflower, some mushrooms, all the cucumbers, red onions, green onions, some cherry tomatoes, some olives, and a bunch of spinach. Then I made a dressing, there was a lot more. It is simply two teaspoons of mustard, two dates, one garlic clove, and some water. So this is a fantastic snack. It will take place in my belly, give me the greens I need, okay? And this is gonna be quite a year. Mm -hmm. To finish this wonderful day, I did go to the restaurant with my husband because I'm leaving in two and a half days and we're going to miss each other so, so much. We've never been apart for five and a half weeks. Um, our maximum was two weeks apart, I think. So we just wanted time to talk and we really enjoy going to scores because we eat so many plates, okay, like five. I had five plates of food tonight, two of fruit and three of salad. And it was funny because like we ate for so long. I know that it's not the best relationship to have with food, to just eat and eat, but we were eating slowly and talking. So we ended up eating for two hours. <laughs> oh la la. And we thought it was really funny because we ate for two hours and yet we ate 
a lot less calories and a lot less fat than everybody around us that was eating ribs and chickens and fries and onion rings and all that stuff. So we had a good time. Okay, so like I said, I had all that food. Two plates of melons and three of salad. Okay, I did bring my mustard, homemade mustard dressing. And over there I had some soya beans and a few sunflower, not sunflower, pumpkin seeds, okay, that were all over there, and baby corn, canned baby corn. So those are what were not 100% raw. But I did excellent, pretty low fat, and I ate so much today, but good stuff that digests fast. I didn't count my calories. I'm going to write all that down in my journal and try counting to see if I make sense. So, good night everyone. Thank you so much for following. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Leave me comments. It always encourages me so much to get your comments. And subscribe if you haven't. Good night.